What is up, you two? Welcome back to the palace. This is your boy, the Leo King, and I'm back at you with another video. So, as you can see, I'm not on my traditional, uh, I guess, video. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record audio in Logic Pro X. Um, I'm pretty proficient in this program, and I feel like it would be helpful to show you guys some of my tricks. Uh, so, to start off, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. Uh, but before we begin, make sure you guys hit that like button if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'll be throwing a lot more tips and jewels than you guys. So make sure you guys get all the updated stuff. But without further ado, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. Um, let's go ahead and start this video off. I'm a smoke a little bit. I'm a drink a little bit. You a hating little bitch, but I'm still getting rich. I'm a smoke a little bit. I'm a drink a little bit. You a hating little bitch, but I'm still getting rich. But I'm still getting rich. But I'm still getting rich. You a so the first thing that we're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to open up Logic Pro. Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, File up in your top left right here. And you're going to go to the New because you want to create a new audio file. Okay. So you're going to click New. Once that gets all loaded in, uh, this screen is going to pop up right here. And uh, you're going to have a couple options between software, audio, drummer, uh, external MIDI, and guitar and bass. What you're going to want is your audio. Okay. So once you get your audio clicked, you make sure that your input device is correct. I got a UR12, uh, my output device, UR12. Again, that's just telling me what microphone you're going to use and what speaker you're going to use. Both of mine are being fed to my UR12. You may have something different. It's all personal preference. Uh, at the bottom here, you see number of tracks. Generally, I, whenever I'm doing a song, I generally start off with four tracks, and that's just to get me started, you know. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put four here. Um, just again, just to get me started, and then you're going to want to hit create. So once you hit create, you're going to see uh, your four audio tracks right here to the left pop up. And all of them you see have a kind of like a gray background to them. Um, and these orange lights are all lit up. What I generally like to do is I like to uh, deselect these orange lights. Um, and then when you, when you click on your first audio track, that's the track that you want to record on. But here's the tricky thing. If I were to hit record right now, you guys will see that the bottom track down here is recording. I don't want that. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. Um, and I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. Hit OK to delete that track. I want to record on this first audio track. So what, I'm, what I have to do is I have to click this R, this record enable right here. Uh, as you can see it's flashing down here. That's the one it's going to record on every time. So you want to go up to this record enable and click that. Now you see that your first track is recording. So uh, once you have this red uh, R recording, you're going you're to want to either go up to your top of your toolbar to this red ball or this red sphere here, um, or you can hit the R button on your keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead for, um, for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and click this red button up here. It's going to give me a countdown four measures or four bars, and the metronome is going to go off also. And now you see I am recording on my first audio track, and that's the one I wanted. Now, in order to stop this uh, recording, you're going to want to hit the stop button up here, or you can hit the space bar. Again, for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and hit the stop up here. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, to record your first track. Now to go to the next track, all you're going to want to do is click on Audio 2 right here. Click that track. <clears throat> and then again, you want to make sure that the flashing red is on the track that you want to record with. So I'm going to click the Record Enable on that track. Now the flashing red is on my second. And uh, when I'm ready to record, I just go up here, hit the Record button. It's going to give me my four bars and I'm recording. Now a lot of people um, don't like the metronome playing while they're recording so what I generally do is uh, when you start recording you're going to want to 
and this is very important when you start recording you want to click this metronome and turn it off okay um, and it's that easy so uh, no more metronome again whenever you're ready to stop recording you just hit the stop button right here and you're good to go um, and that's basically all there is to it uh, there's a couple more options that I'll go over um, in my next video but that's how you record uh, with Logic Pro X whenever you want audio um, again thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up on this video just so you guys can tell me hey I like this content that you're putting out and then again if you're not subscribed already I will be putting a lot more Logic Pro X videos out so make sure you guys are checking me out and uh, following this so Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, really don't fuck with the cops. No. Nope. First when they shoot at the ops. Yep. Think that this pistol a prop. Right. You find as soon as it pop. Hey. You can catch me in the cut. Yeah. With a bottle of some rock. Yeah. Making your whole city rock. Yeah. Diddy gonna sign me now. Hey. I'ma smoke a little bit. I'ma drink.